I had breast cancer, so I knew a bit about it. I knew a bit about my mom's breast cancer, but you know, I'm a lay person. I'm a businesswoman. I am not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. And now I am completely surrounded with doctors and scientists. And, on, and we have a, a rock star scientific advisory board that's made up of like the head of oncology at Stanford and, and Vanderbilt and Sloan Kettering and, you know, like all of these places that are really, really super impressive people. And one of our chairs, our co-chairs is a, a doctor, that Dr. Sledge, who I'm, I adore. But, you know, at that point, I just met him. And we went out to dinner and he said during dinner, so Paula, you know, if you'd like, he's the sweetest man ever. If you'd like, I can give you a little tutelage on like, you know, all the verbiage and, and you know, the different terminology and breast cancer. And I, I thought to myself, okay, how do I answer this? And I said to him, you know what, George, let me tell you how that would go. Okay. First of all, it'd be like me learning Chinese and then dealing with the highest end of the government, right? Because the, no one is going to take me seriously. They all know where I came from. I'm a fashion girl, fashion background, businesswoman, yeah, but not scientist. So why don't I do what I do really well, which is bring the best people in the room to get things done and work together, create a you know create the culture, and then you come with me to those meetings because you have the credibility that I will never have. And he went, okay, and we've made a really dynamic team doing that because you know I think it is you got to know what you don't know. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you, you don't have to be afraid of, and this is what I, I love about your story too, right? You don't have to be afraid of trying new things because, you know, you don't have to ask for permission for everything you do, because if you did, people would try and talk you out of it right and left. Totally. And I fundamentally think that, you know, if there was a rule book or sort of this is exactly what you were supposed to do, this is the way that you were supposed to ultimately build it, then it would have already been done. Yeah. Right. And yeah. so I think bringing in new ideas and, and people with different types of experience and people with passion, I often say passion trumps experience, yeah. right? Where, you know, that clearly is you and, and somebody who's really having an understanding, you know, for this illness too and, and some yeah. of the challenges. In business, right? Because, you know, when, when I first started there and I would say, I would talk about it as if it were a business and they would say, no, no, you cannot say it's a business. And I'd say, you know what? It is a business. Money comes in, money goes out. You can't spend more than you make. You have to figure out how to make more. You know, so it's it's just different product that you are that you are marketing and that you're selling. 